second. Went backward quickly. Apparently has not gotten a lot better during the break. And is currently in second spot, though second in the point standings. He's trying to get on the inside of the 87. Oh, and the 24 drops Buck and out of the world. I thought they'd all missed him, but they didn't. That was a major hit, too. It was. And see, Butch Miller's, Miller's involved. Scott Legacy got turned sideways on the backstretch and then got hit a ton. And there you see the damage to Miller. Looked like Butch is the guy that did all the, the most of the hitting. See them both moving around in there. That's good. Some pretty heavy damage to the Rebestus truck. Yeah, yeah. They got tangled big time. And then after Legacy got set, exactly what you were talking about here on the front straight with it scary moment when you know there are a lot of trucks coming and you're sideways in the racetrack and that's how the front got ripped off the thing is legacy to man a big hit after the what, fact go back over to the other truck to the legacy truck what's that in the front see miller moving around in there what's that stuck in the front of the 24 truck is that oh that's the nose of the peel, truck peel the i thought it was off. rule i thought it was roll bars out of something but it's just it looks like it doesn't it yeah it's just a grill piece out of this truck. Those are the headlights facing you, Benny. You yep. know you hurt your truck when it's facing the wrong direction. The headlights are still pointing at you. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. There we see Lags. He makes contact. He comes down and spins. The 30 truck goes on the inside, just misses him. And look at all that traffic behind that goes by with Sprague. Hey. Almost made it. And the Walker Evans comes along, hits him, and boom, into him goes the 98 of Butch Miller. Here's the impact from Walk, Walker Evans. Oh, Pick that man. truck right up off the ground. Well, I'll tell you what, Scott Lagus's neck is going to be sore tomorrow. We see the gasoline coming out, so. Second wreck of the night for Butch Miller, who's had a frustrating evening. We had commented on how well he was doing under the circumstances. There's Butch out to take a look at it. Uh oh, he said, uh oh. We heard it. Big blow for his championship hopes. He was fourth, 127 points out. And here is Scott Legacy in the Jeff Gordon look-alike costume, the road racer, who finds out just how tough oval racing can be here tonight. Man, that was a tough lick. Beat her up on both ends. It's about as hard as you want to get hit right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, camera, a stationary camera back coming off the turn two. Let's see if we can see what happens. There we see Legacy. He get touched there. It looked like he might have gotten touched by someone. He gets out of shape, and Bottom that started the spin. And then we'll continue on, and this is the spin. And he goes around, and Setzer, Setzer. does a big job, good job getting by. And the 25 truck looks like he's going straight towards him, and he, at the last instant, dodges. And Walker Evans, I think his view was blocked by the 25. He doesn't see him. Walker didn't see him. And banged into him, and the 98. Looked like he was going on the inside, and all of a sudden that Walker Evans knocked the 24 truck right in the path of the 98 truck. That's only the second time this year that Butch Miller has failed to finish one of these things. Remember how we joked early that he was third every time? Hello, cutie. Nice to see the kids come out. Richmond International Raceway. We'll be right back.